Welcome back to AIM Northwest. Watching your favorite movies could actually be teaching you some valuable life lessons here to explain what you can learn about happiness from films. We welcome the author, Find Your Happy, Shannon Kaiser. Nice to have you here, Shannon. Hi, great uh, to be back. I, I love this idea because, and, and the point is, you can find happiness, and there are a lot of examples of, of mood and attitude, and, and films often display them, don't they? Absolutely. You think about your favorite movie, chances are the characters in the movies that we love, that's why we love the movie. We're invested in them, we want to grow with them, and it's just, they can teach us a lot about life, how to be happy, how to be more joyful. Let's talk about, uh, for example, It's a Wonderful Life, which is one of my favorite movies oh. in George Who Bailey. doesn't love that movie? <laughs> yeah, what do we learn from Jimmy Stewart's character in this film? Yeah, well, he really shows us that you don't have to have a wonderful life to have a wonderful life. You know, a lot of things happen to him, and he maintains a really great outlook on life. And one of the most remarkable things about him is he practices random acts of kindness throughout the whole film. And in the end, it really goes to show that that comes back around. And so often in our life, I find that we want to give back but sometimes we become overwhelmed and we're not connected and we feel like there's not enough we can do but the little things make the biggest difference opening a door for a stranger buying coffee for a co-worker doing the dishes when your spouse says they're tired you know the yeah. little things the acts that we do can make a profound difference Another great movie, Ferris, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ferris Bueller, the classic 80s movie. You know, Matthew Broderick is the classic go love life to the fullest and experience life, go have fun. And it's really great because he, we could all use a little more Ferris in our life. We kind of become bombarded with work and stress. And, you know, he teaches us how to go just experience. And we don't have to play hooky from work or from school to have fun, but really do what you love and do it passionately is what we can learn from him. And, and in that, more practically speaking, rather than taking a day off, is just yeah. enjoy the moment that you're in, right? Absolutely. And seek out the fun moments, right? Yep, and they're all around us all the time. Yeah, that doesn't mean, you know, <laughs> take a fancy car out of somebody's house and drive yeah, around. Yeah, you can that. try. I just, it, but... just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wizard of Oz, another classic. Yes. That says a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Wizard of Oz, classic film, they're following the yellow brick road. There's so many life lessons in this movie, but I find one of the most profound ones is actually each character and what they can teach us about happiness and happiness is really inside of us you know they're searching for a brain they're searching for courage or they want to get back home and it's not until the end the wizard shows them that everything they need is inside of them and this is true for us you know in my own journey I was always searching we say we'll be happy when we have more money we'll right. be happy when we lose weight or right. it's always outside of us but it's really about switching it and coming back into yourself and recognizing you can be fulfilled now you can feel abundant you can be happy in the moment Isn't that part of part of that uh you know, for example, we'll be happy when we have more money. It's an excuse, uh, permission to be unhappy now as opposed to a real problem. There's a psychological component to it. I don't have money, that's why I'm not happy. Yep, and that's exactly it. You know, that leads into one of the other tips that we have that we kind of tend to make the problems bigger and we think that, oh, it's kind of the lazy way out. And it's actually a nice way to tap into wanting to be happy because the bottom line is no matter where you are, we all want to be a little more happy. Right. Forrest right. Gump. Mm-hmm. Forrest Gump. We love this movie. Yes. And it, the character himself, you know, it's amazing because Forrest Gump shows us that you are not your problems. It's amazing because he's born with a crooked spine, and we can learn that he, just by watching him, he never let that stop him. Look at his wonderful, rich life that he lived. Sometimes in our life, we're born with a disease, or we are filing for bankruptcy, or we're going through a divorce, or whatever the problem is right now that ails you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, similar to what you were just saying, we let it become bigger than it really is. Forrest, just looking at how he lived his life, he never once let it stop him from being great and just being present. And and, and also, never never believe that any of these things were an impediment, right? I mean, you, you Absolutely. Can, you, you can, if you yeah. don't know you can't do it, you can do it. I know, right? and that's really There's, the key. Don't focus Focus on that. <laughs> There's also ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly right. And, yeah. and we see and that true. a lot. All right, releasing <laughs> expectations. That's from mm -hmm. Titanic and Rose's character. Yes. Now, Titanic in itself is filled with lots of different lessons, but it's interesting because Rose, she can really teach us that letting go of expectations is the key to happiness. Here she is. She's in love with Jack, the love of her life. And we all know how Titanic ends, right? And it's a sinking ship. She loses the love of her life, but she shows us that love prevails her lifetime 
things, there's a lot of things that will happen to you. She really shows us that life goes on and happiness is not tied to what we think will happen, but letting know that there's ebbs and flows of life and being present in the moment is the best joy. Well, I, I agree with that, although she didn't have to throw that necklace back into the sea. I think <laughs> that could have been hawked for something very nice, but I get your point. Uh, we want folks to know you have, a, you have a, a, a book reading and signing coming up Wednesday at the Sherwood Library at 7.30. We'll have more information on our website at k com at 6 o'clock, I'm sorry, from 6 to 7.30 uh, this coming Wednesday. Thank you yeah, very much. Great. This was fun. Great Thanks. to be here, yeah.